Hi, it's Robin from Matolo. I hope you're well. It's time for mentor top tip number three. This time around, I want you to think about being clear. So when I say being clear, I mean thinking about your limitations, your boundaries, what you are happy to explore, what you're not happy to explore. But before you can be clear about those things, first of all, you need to get clear. So I want you to have a think about what are my limitations in terms of times that I do and don't want to communicate. You know, is it within business hours? Is it any time? Is it not at weekends? How do I want to communicate? Will it be email only? Is it via LinkedIn? Is it on Pushbar? Is it via WhatsApp or text or phone call? Then thinking about the the areas that you would be happy to cover and things you are happy to discuss and things that you're actually not comfortable discussing. Do you only want to keep it work related? Are you happy to talk about personal development, which obviously incorporates them as a person, not just in terms of work? Are you happy to talk about personal lives, you know, to some extent? Are you not? So thinking about where your boundaries are in terms of those things. And also your own limitations. So I absolutely can help you with X, Y, Z. But in terms of A, B, C, that's not an area of expertise of mine. I can help you find people that are, but that is a limitation. That's where my kind of parameters of mentoring stop and start. So first of all, get clear with those things. Have a think about your own boundaries and limitations as a mentor. And then I want you to have a think about being clear with your mentee about those things. How do you feel about communicating those boundaries and limitations? Is that something that feels a bit uncomfortable? Are you fine with it? So explore that a little bit. So first of all, get clear and then be clear. And that's the mentor top tip number three.